Welcome to the Lytro video tutorial series. Today I'll be showing you how to use Lytro Desktop's built-in depth map editor. For more information on depth map errors, see the article in the description of this video. This tutorial assumes you have Lytro Desktop 4.3 or higher. I'm doing this on my Mac, but it's the same process on Windows. Today I'm going to fix a living picture with a depth map error. So let's get started. In Lytro Desktop 4, Select the thumbnail of a living picture that has a depth map error and duplicate it. Double click the duplicate thumbnail to open it in single picture view. Click on the adjust menu and scroll down to the bottom to reveal the built in depth map editor. Now click edit to start editing the depth map. Now that the depth map is visible on screen, we can see more clearly where these errors are occurring. To see a representation of your living picture on top of the depth map, slide the depth map opacity slider to the left. You can select from depth map viewing options including black and white, all orange, all blue, or orange and blue. I recommend black and white or orange and blue to get a larger range of colors or shades in the depth map. This will make editing easier later in the process. Once you know what area of the depth map you want to edit, select the paintbrush tool to draw directly on the depth map. You can adjust the size of the brush using the radius tool, the amount of feathered edging with hardness, and the flow with opacity. You will see a representation of your current brush settings below the sliders. To select the shader color you want, use the gradient and histogram towards the bottom of this tool. The gradient shows the range of possible paint colors, and the histogram above it peaks when there's a heavy amount of a certain shade in the depth map. This feature decreases the time needed to find the right color. Additionally, you can use the eyedropper tool to click on a specific section of the depth map. This will make the selected color your paintbrush's current value. You will notice that for some images, the histogram only covers a small section of the overall range of colors. You can expand the re that range to fill the entire gradient by clicking on the depth map expander tool above the depth map. This change will only be visual in the depth map editor to assist you and make it easier to edit the depth map. I will now fix a problematic part of the depth map using the paintbrush tool. To blend the depth map of a subject that extends multiple depth planes, select the Blur tool. The Blur tool will use the same adjustments as the paintbrush, but will additionally let you adjust the intensity of the blur that will occur. I just want to use the paintbrush one more time to just even it out and then use the blur to blur that right in. And that's a bunch better. If you have made any changes that you wish to undo, you can select the counterclockwise arrow. And to redo those changes, select the clockwise arrow. This is a great way to evaluate a recently made change and go back and forth. Additionally, you can select the undo brush, which will let you erase all unsaved changes to reveal the original depth map in areas you paint on. Once you have made all desired changes, click done in the lower right corner. Your living picture will now process and the changes you made will be permanently applied to the image in Lytro Desktop. Once the processing line on the bottom has finished loading, you will see that the depth map error has gone away.
If you have any additional questions about Lytro Desktop's built-in depth map editor, please contact support by email at support at lytro.com.